colours and I have literally three drawers of highlighters so these are like the smaller ones that we've been working on in the past few weeks these are the ones with my highlighters in they're like double the depth and there's three of them so we've got this drawer which is single highlighters so not just like ones on their own we've got the drawer underneath which are all like palettes and then the bottom drawer which you can't see but I'll leave you down when we get to there we've got sort of loose highlighters we've got liquid highlighters and stick highlighters as well so my goal for today is to get it down to two drawers because we don't need more than two drawers I mean we don't need more we don't need a drawer really but we let's be realistic here so we're gonna try and get it down to uh, two drawers so let's start with the um the loose highlighters i'm just going to do what i've always, i've been doing as we've been going through them and just go through everything one by one and let you know why i'm keeping it why i'm not etc so where do we even start let's start with jeffree star so we've got jeffree star here this one is called lavender snow and it looks like this it is only lightly used it's probably not something I ever reach for so I am actually gonna be really good and get rid of that one um, this one I'm keeping for sure this is princess cut and this one is stunning this is a gorgeous pink color just show you a swatch Look how pretty that is so we're definitely keeping that one snow globe which is one of these supreme frosts how pretty that one is as well we're keeping that one we have diamond wet which is a jaw breaker one which is just stunning as well we have ice cold which looks like this deep freeze which is just like this i think to be honest we're probably going to get rid of deep freeze it's just, it's gorgeous, but it's just more of an eyeshadow, and I don't think I'd ever use that much eyeshadow. It is beautiful though, really, really gorgeous. I'd said previously, because people were asking me that I was going to put my makeup, you know, that I didn't want, or, you know, that I was decluttering onto um, Depop. I'm actually not, I'm actually going to put it on eBay, because I find that easier so if you were interested in any of this stuff that i am decluttering check out my ebay i will put it in the description and hopefully i will get it um listed at some point soon so next we have um this primark one and it's not even used it's still sealed so i'm gonna be a good girl and get rid this one's called frosted and then we've got brunch club which again is sealed i've got a new one of these that's in a plastic container this is in cardboard so again i'm going to get rid of that one we have this one which is the urban decay naked illuminated let's just swatch this one for you because this one is pretty look at that so pretty so we're keeping that one another primark one called mink pink again this one's going this is a really new one to my collection the essence moonlight cushion this i got from lisa subscription box addict and it's just really cool it's like a power up like some sort of like impregnated sponge and it is really really pretty you see it there so that one I'm definitely keeping because it's so unusual and I've not yet actually tried it on my face and I just really like the look of that. We have two of these because I have issues. This is the Maybelline Master Holographic. Um, one of them, this one, I have used so I'll swatch it for you. And it is really, really pretty. Look at that. So obviously I'll keep the one I've used. This one's actually sealed. I think I must have bought it forgetting I'd bought it already. So this is what happens when you have too many highlighters. 
So this one is going to go, we have another um, Urban Decay, this is a different shade, this is a much lighter one, but again it's super super pretty, so that's it there, it's very very pretty. So this one is new and sealed, I did actually try this in the shop, this one is sealed so I'm not going to swatch it, but it is really pretty, but you know, someone's got to give so I'm going to get rid of this one. We have this Makeup Geek one, this one's called Rekindle. And it is pretty but it's a little bit dark but I am going to actually just keep it for now because I do like it and it might work if I ever get around to tanning I have this Olivia Bell this one's a bit dark I don't even think I've swatched this one I am just going to pass it on because it, it's too dark really for me we have this Morphe one which looks like this and again that's beautiful Illamasqua and these are massive. This one's called Frost, which again, it's that same, same colour. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping that one. We have Delight, and this one's called Shine Bright. which is like a goldy shade. So this is like a diamond, which I actually prefer. So that's like a diamond, it's a lot more champagne. We have a Christmas one from Primark, which was from last year and it is so pretty. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And again, it's like a gold shade. Yeah, I probably don't need all these, but we'll see. We have another Primark one. This one's a gorgeous pink shade. Don't think I've found any pink ones so far, so we'll keep that one for now. I'll put it to one side in case we find something better. Again, this is a rather unusual one. This is almost like iridescent, but yellowy goldy iridescent. Again, that's something very, very like duochrome and it's gold and pink very unusual so we'll keep that on for now um i'll probably get rid of this one because this is another white with like a pink or blue or purple flex which you know all of them <laughs> all my highlighters are like that so we'll get rid of that one for now it's another primark one we have this one from primark and it's just too dark for me i've never used it bought it in Germany, it's sealed, it's new, but it's just not for my skin tone, so I'm going to pass this one along. We have a MAC white iridescent one, which is like a purpley one. It's MAC, <laughs> keeping it. This one's new and sealed, this is a W7. I'm not even going to open it and see what it's like, I'm just going to pass it on because I'm trying to be good. This is an MUA one. Again, it's like a purpley iridescent one. I mean, there's only so many purpley iridescent ones I need. So we'll get rid. Again, another W7 new and sealed. So we will pass along. We have a Jealousy one. Which looks like this. It's very, very pretty. I'll keep that one. I literally have two of these new and sealed. I have no idea why. They're not my skin tone. Why would I buy two? We have this wet and wild one and this one is stunning. So this one is definitely staying. Don't think I have anything similar. Look at that. It's gorgeous. So she's staying. So we have this tart one. This one is honestly stunning. This is a um, makeup obsession one and it's in the colour Moon. You can get this now. They don't sell these little ones anymore. Or they might do on Revolution still. I'm not sure. But you can get a Mega Moon, which is just a big version of this. And it is just the most gorgeous, gorgeous colour. So highly, highly recommend this one. We've got this Colourpop one and this was very, very recent into my collection. Um only recently got it and it is nothing like anything else I've got look at it so that one's definitely staying for sure so we have this model coat Karl Lagerfeld and again this is one unlike 
any that I've got. I don't think I've got any other peach ones. Dwarf Nyx ones, that's like a, a brown with a green iridescent. I'm not going to swatch it because it's never been swatched. We've got this one, which is like a pinkish one. Again, it's never been swatched. Another one. That one has been swatched, but only a little bit. That's all it's been, just swatched. So I'm going to pass those along. I've got a Teeny Model Co. one, which I don't even know what this looks like. I've never swatched it, but it, it's very cute. That is beautiful. It's only little, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> Another W7 that's never been swatched, so I will pass this one along. Got this Laura Geller in Peach Glow. Just knit myself with it, which is always fun. Very, very pretty. We've got this Winky Looks one. It's called Charm. Again, it's never been touched. I really want to keep it. I don't even know what it looks like and I want to keep it. I'm like, do I swatch it? Do I not swatch it? Oh, I'm going to swatch it. Oof. Yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I shouldn't have swatched it. Here we have Gilded Honey. Now I've got two of these, I think. One of them's been swatched and one of them hasn't. This one doesn't look like it's been swatched. So I don't want to swatch it to show you. I will see if I can find the other one. So I'm keeping the one that's been swatched. And the other one will be passed along. We have the Eyeball. And honestly, I think I'm just going to pass this one along. I know I only got it recent, but yeah, I think I'm going to pass it along. We have this rose gold one by Revolution, which is here. And it's so, so pretty, so we'll keep that one. We'll get rid of the platinum one just because I've got too many white ones, so we'll get rid of that one. This is a Topshop one in Crescent Moon. It's never been touched, so I'm going to pass that one along. We've got this one in Sunbeam. This isn't really my colour. That's it there. I'm going to pass that along. So we've got W7 Killer Glow. This is honestly a really banging highlight. It has been swatched before, so I will just swatch it for you. But I've got too many like this, so I'm going to pass it along. So this is another Morphe and this one's called Stardust and look at that, how pretty. Got these little Fiate ones, which are honestly gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So now stay in. We have this estate one which was from Birchbox. It's this yellow colour. It's like this. Again, that's a beautiful colour and it's unlike anything I've got in my collection, so it's staying. So we have these two from Revolution, which are very new to my collection. So we have, these are reloaded highlighters. We have Set the Tone and Dare to Divulge. That's Dare to Divulge, that's Set the Tone. And they're very unlike anything else I've ever sort of swatched before. Look at those. They are insane. So they're staying for sure. This is another Primark one. And it is really, really pretty. But it's just too dark for my skin tone. So we're going to declutter that one. This one, which again is gorgeous. Do you know what? I'm going to declutter them both. These two are fairly recent. I did get them for a testing video. I think I'm going to keep the bananas, but I'm going to get rid of this one because it's not really my colour. We have this Paige Louise one. This is limited edition. She gave this out as a freebie and she didn't like it. She didn't like the way it had been done, so she gave it out as a freebie. So not many people have this. We have this one from Revolution and I am just going to get rid. So I have this Sport FX one um, that I got from Waste in Beauty. I honestly don't think I'll ever use this and it smells really strongly of butter. Like it actually smells like butter, which is bizarre, bizarre. Um, I don't know whether to pass this on or what to do with it because it smells like butter. 
Um, I'm going to put in my thinking pile because I won't use it, I don't think. But does anybody want a highlight that smells like butter? <laughs> I'll put it in the get rid of pile and we'll work out what to do with it because it's only been swatched. We have this gorgeous MUA one. I love this one. It's got a gorgeous pink colour and then it's got a strobe cream underneath. And it is just a beautiful shade. I've got another sort of white blue highlighter. This is an MUA one. I'm going to pass it on because I haven't got too many of that sort of tone. We have Radiant Cashmere, which looks too dark for me, and it should be by all accounts, but it's not. It doesn't come out half as dark when you actually use it. I also have this blue one, which is still sealed, but I need this for a certain look, so that's staying. I'm nearly done with our singles, and then we've got... Um, then we've got palettes to do. So this is a new one to me. This is Champagne Kiss from Revolution and I got this from um, a fellow YouTuber. It was from Leah Sheenan and it is gorgeous so that one's staying. We have Peach Kiss which looks like this. Golden Kiss. Ice Kiss. Pink Kiss. I'm going to get rid of Star Kiss because it's so similar to lots of others I have. Um, so we'll keep the pink, the champagne, the Becca Opal. You know, everyone's got to have a Becca Opal in their collection. Which looks like this. Beautiful. So that's staying. We have my two faced ones, which are definitely staying. I love these. So this one is Ray of Light. Just so, so pretty. And blinded by the light which is like a goldy shade which is just gorgeous but it's more champagne than gold got two pixie ones i'll keep those for now and then we have a whole pile of these top shop duo chromes now these are all intense and amazing so i'm gonna swatch all these for you We've got fresh water mother of pearl tiger's eye Speed of Light and Sea Witch. Look at those. I'm going to get rid of the middle one just because it's a bit dark for me, but all the others look amazing. And that is my single highlighters done. So I'm just going to get everything back in the drawer, hopefully just to fill the front, hopefully, so that I can put my palettes at the back once we've decluttered those a bit more. <laughs> So let's move on to palettes. So we have a lot in here. But I'm confident we can get rid of a lot. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I think I showed you this one recently. So this is the Ofra palette. And I've not even had a chance to play with this yet. But look at that. That is stunning. So yeah, this one is staying for sure. We have this uh, Revolution one, which is like highlights and um, bronze shades. This is just really handy to take away because you've got so many different options for highlights all in the one palette. So unless I find anything equal to this, this is staying. This one can go. This is one from... Matalan and honestly there's only one shade in there that suits my skin tone so this can go. We've got the Revolution Ultra Pro Glow. Just because I'm trying to get rid, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't even think 
I've swatched this so this can go. I love my soaps, so so staying. <laughs> Um, I love this highlight palette. I don't think I've even used it, or I might have used it once, but I do love Soph, so she has to stay in my collection. I've got to support a fellow YouTuber. Um, this is a new one to me. This is the Opulence highlighter palette, so I'm going to keep this one for now because it's fairly new. We've got the Shuck palette which looks like this and honestly I've not even used this so this can go I know it's quite recent but I'm trying to I'm trying to be good and trying to purge this one can go this is a Primark one it's new and sealed we've got another Primark one new and sealed another Primark one a Disney one this time new and sealed so they're all going I'm going to keep this one, I think, this one's quite recent and I haven't got around to testing it yet. But this is the um, Committed Makeup Obsession one and I just think those are gorgeous shades. And I was going to do a testing video and I haven't done it yet, so that's staying for that reason. We've got this one, which is the Per Highlight, and I haven't tried this yet and it is new to my collection. So it's staying for now, and look how stunning those shades are. They're so, so pretty. So, yeah, keeping that one. This is the palette I was talking about before. So this is the Laura Geller palette. Um, Diamond Dust was the one that was in question. And... Yep, diamond dust. So we'll get rid of the diamond dust because we have it in the palette. We don't need two. So again, this one's new, so this one is staying. This is the e.l.f. Um, Glow Gleam Beam. This is one of the Christmas collections for this year. And it's so, so pretty. Look at that. So pretty. We have a pixie one. I've never actually tried pixie's highlighters. I'm going to let this go, I think, just because I've got too many. Uh, it's new and somebody else will appreciate it. Um, we have this little Revolution Pro. I absolutely adore this, especially this shade here. So we are keeping this one. We have the Bella Pierre Heat Wave Palette. Um, looks like this. This is like another one that's pretty good for travel because it is so small. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one for now. And I've just stuck my finger in it. And keep this on for now. We have the Alchemist palette by Kat Von D. Honestly, I don't really use this palette, so I am gonna get rid. We have a, gl a glitter junkie by Primark again, new and sealed. We have a L'Oreal one, which I am keeping for now. I bought this for a video and I haven't around to testing it yet. We've got a NYX one. Which again is unused. I've never got around to using it. It can go. It can go. So this one is the strobe of strobe of genius. We have a W7 one. Looks like this. I'm just gonna get rid of this one because it does look quite dark. The Anastasia, um, this is like the bronzy version. So this has got summer, moonstone, tourmaline, and bronzed in it. And yeah. We'll keep that one for now. We've got the Revolution Pro Rose Gold. I honestly don't think I've used this, but we'll keep it for now. I can't remember when I got that. Um, we have the ABH Aurora palette, which looks like this. I've not even used this yet, so we'll keep it for now. We have the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice. Again, I've not even touched this one. It's just because I've got so many, so in the hope if I get rid of some, I will use more. I might get to use this one. This one's stunning, look at it. So then I'm hoping I will get some use out of this. Once I've sort of consolidated my highlighters a little bit 
I've got another W7 strobe tan. This is in a different shade. It's sealed, so I won't open it, but I'm going to get rid. We have another Primark one. Again, this is still sealed. Um, it's going. We have a Huda one. This is the winter highlight. I've, st I've not even tried this, but... I'm going to keep it for now. We have an Urban Decay Afterglow one. This is honestly stunning. I don't even think I've used this, but I swatched it in the shop and it is beautiful. The Master Highlight from Primark. This is still sealed. I'm going to get rid. This is Revolution Strobe Lightning Palette and I am going to keep this one just because it is different to anything else I've got. This one in particular has got a green shift. This white. Um, and that is a gorgeous pink shade, so yeah. I'm going to keep that one for now. We've got this MUA Glow Palette. This, I am going to get rid of that. This is Pixie and this is unused. And as much as it pains me, I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm hoping now that I can fit... Oh great, everything's falling down. I can fit all of these behind here hopefully we shall see <laughs> in that one drawer now so that's my my um single highlighters and my highlighter palettes all in one drawer so let's just get on to the final drawer which is loose highlighters and other such i'm not actually gonna declutter these i don't think because i haven't got that many um actually i might declutter some of them so these are all my loose highlighters, my um, stick highlighters and my um, liquid highlighters. Um, I'm not going to get rid of a vast amount from here because there isn't a much, much here anyway. And I do use things like loose highlighters for setting sprays. You can add them in and it makes it like extra glowy. But I'm going to get rid of a few. So let's see what we've got. So first we've got these gorgeous sort of like rose gold um, highlight, highlight loose highlighters from Primark. Um, I'm going to keep these just because these will make a gorgeous setting spray. So we'll keep those for that reason. I've got a gold one probably not use that one so I'll probably pass that one along we've got a colour pop one and how stunning is this I'll just show you it's all come out help it's all come out look at that I don't know if you'll see it I'll just watch it in a better place look at that so so pretty again let's make a stunning anything it's so pretty we have these which are Lindsay Douglas highlighters these are in the shade coke and they are beautiful you're not seeing any more because my hands are just like iridescent anyway but yeah those are gorgeous so that's those two we've got a true gold uh, revolution this is again gonna be great for setting spray and um, we've got this collection one which is a gorgeous pink color I love this one it's pink but it has a green shift to it which is really unusual but also pretty epic it's not really showing up um, we have this Ofra one which if it will show up on camera is just pure glitter 
But that is just pure glitter. That is incredible, that one. And this is Ofra. Well, it actually says it's a loose mineral powder foundation, but as if you would ever use that as a loose mineral powder foundation. We've then got a makeup cosmetics one, which again is stunning. Look at that. We have these little things from Primark. We've got Star Cluster and Galaxy, and they're like a little thing that you do that with. But you can also unscrew them and just use them loose as well. And then we have Peach Tinsel by Too Faced, which again is beautiful. I do actually have the W7 version of this as well because I'm going to do a um, sort of testing, see if they're the same, see what the differences are, see if it's worth spending the extra, etc. So I'm going to do that very, very soon. So watch this space. Um, so let's go through some of these liquid ones because I'm sure we can get rid of some of them. We've got this Olivia Bell one which is actually a really stunning colour. What I'm going to do with my liquid ones, I don't want too many of the same shades, so I'm going to like pick my favourite of like the peaches, the pinks, you know, etc, etc. I'm actually going to keep this out of the box so I can sort of see what colours we're working with. And I'm going to use some of this space here to sort of do it. So we've got like a peachy one there. That's like a pinky pen. We've got Sunbeam by Benefit. It's only a little, we'll keep that. And that's only a little, we'll keep that. Sunbeam and High Beam. We've got a Liquid Chrome by Barry M. And this is like a white iridescent one. Which is really, really nice. Um, we've got... I guess this is sort of rose gold as well. Or peach. So we don't want too many of the same shades. So, probably get rid of the Olivia Bell because that's brand new. We've got a Primark one. Again. That's a similar shade, so we don't need that one. This W7 one is different. This one's more of a pink, whereas the others were like a rose gold. So we'll keep that one. got this one but this one's a bit dark for my skin tone so we'll get rid of that one as well I've got a sample of the max strobe cream I've never tried max strobe cream I need to so we'll keep that I've got the Primark strobe cream we'll keep that as well this is gorgeous this is a revolution liquid Erythrol. This is like a lilac shade and it is beautiful. So it's there. It's very, very pretty. We've got a L'Oreal pink one. got another champagne uh, another sort of like goldy rose gold champagne one I'm gonna get rid of that one we don't need too many of them this one's new and sealed from Primark so I'll get rid of that one we've got a blue version we'll get rid of that one we've got Olivia Hale oops loads came out then that's actually different. It, it is pink, but it's kind of like molten pink. That is stunning. 
got this Model Co one. Honestly, don't need any more, so we'll get rid of that one. I've got a Pixie Glow Booster, which I presume is like a strobe cream. We'll keep that one for now. Another Primark, we we'll get rid. Another Primark. This has got a blue shift. Has this one got... That one's got a pink shift, so they are different, so I'll keep both of those. So, sticks. We have a Revolution stick. This is a, it just says a highlight stick. I don't think I've ever used this, so I'm probably just going to get rid of this one. It's like a sort of champagne colour. I'm going to get rid of that one. We have an Essence one, which is in this sort of like white purple shade again. It's not been used, I will get rid. We have a Primark one. I don't know what shade this is, but it's sealed, so I'll probably just get rid. We have Laura Geller. This is like a rose gold shade, which is really quite pretty. We have another Laura Geller. This one is a sort of white pink iridescent. We have this recent one that I got from Latest in Beauty, which is like a pinky shade. We have Olivia Hale. Like this, I'll probably get rid of that to be honest. Uh, where am I? Um, this one's never been used. This is a W7 one, so I'll pass that one along. This one's an Elizabeth Arden one, and it is stunning. Look at it. It's so glittery and shimmery and pink and gorgeous, so keeping that one. New and sealed Primark, get rid of that. Got two more Primark ones here. I'm going to keep this light pink shade because it looks cute. Looks really nice. And get rid of the other one. We've got a Lord and Berry, which is gorgeous. Look at that. We have Top Shop, which is there, like a golden colour. We've got True Glow. We have Maybelline Master Strobe which is very creamy and we have another top shot which is here and Too Faced look at this, I love the packaging of this Too Faced one and look at the stickers there, it's so pretty so this is very blue but perfect when you're doing sort of like an icy look so that's those. So yeah, that is all my highlighters decluttered. The um, getting rid of pile is now massive. So I'm going to get on and get stuff stuck on eBay. And as a, I'll leave a link in the description to my eBay should you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching once again and I hope to see you in a video again soon. This drawer that won't shut is um, eyeshadow palettes. That is the next thing on the agenda for next week. So yeah, I will see you shortly. Bye. Bye.